assalamu alaikum uh, in today's lecture we shall talk about uh, magnetic circuits and we shall learn how to analyze uh, magnetic circuits uh, we know that magnetic lines of flux follow a closed path and the closed path followed by magnetic lines of flux is called a magnetic circuit the simplest magnetic circuit uh, is uh, this arrangement uh, a circular ring of a ferromagnetic material and there is a wire uh, current carrying conductor wound on it uh, magnetic circuits are quite uh, analogous to electrical circuits in electrical cir circuits current is flowing whereas in magnetic circuits uh, flux uh, is flowing and uh, the quantity in electrical circuits which causes the current to uh, flow is called EMF or electromotive force and in magnetic circuits it is magnetomotive force MMF uh, and we remember that this magnetomotive force is proportional to the current uh, in this uh, conductor and also proportional to the number of turns of the wire that is MMF is equal to number of turns of wire and the current in that wire the units of this MMF are ampere turns in electrical circuits the current and voltage these are related by Ohm's law that is voltage is equal to current multiplied by the resistance uh, similar to that in magnetic circuits this MMF is related to flux by this relation MMF is equal to flux into reluctance of the core where reluctance of this path that is given by this reluctance is related to the length of the path cross sectional area of the path and the material utilized uh, in the magnetic circuit that is reluctance is equal to L over mu A where L is the length of the follow path followed by magnetic lines of flux uh, different magnetic lines of flux follow different lengths so we can take the mean path length over here mu is the permeability uh, of uh, the material utilized in the magnetic circuit and A is the cross sectional area mu uh, you know is uh, equal to mu r into mu naught where mu naught is the permeability of free space and mu r is relative permeability this expression is quite similar to the expression for resistance where resistance is also proportional to the length of the resistor is inversely proportional to uh, this uh, cross sectional area and is uh, proportional to resistivity uh, or which can also be equally written as L over A into the perme permittivity uh, of the material. Uh, this mu naught, uh, the numerical value of mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7. Uh, this uh, reluctance follows the same rules as uh, that for a resistance that is if there are uh, two reluctances connected in series then equivalent reluctance is simply equal to the sum of the two reluctances that is R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 and if two reluctances are connected in parallel then their equivalent reluctance uh, is given by uh, 1 over uh, R1 plus 1 over R2 since uh, magnetic circuits are quite similar to electrical circuits therefore the strategy to analyze magnetic circuits is the same as uh, that utilized for electrical circuits rather the convenient approach uh, to analyze magnetic circuits is first to draw uh, the equivalent electrical circuits once we have an equivalent electrical circuits, we can easily analyze uh, that magnetic circuit. 
uh, that is for this magnetic circuits for this particular magnetic circuit we shall first draw analog electrical circuit the analog electrical circuit uh, this uh, MMF can be represented source of MMF can be represented by our heat source uh, that is MMF is equal to n multiplied by i and then uh, this flux follows this cloth follows this closed path and the reluctance of this closed path that is represented over here reluctance so once we have an equal electrical circuit then we can easily analyze that particular circuit to uh, further elaborate this point let's take a few examples so we have this uh, magnetic circuit and we want to analyze it it consists of a rectangular core on which a current carrying conductor is wound the current flowing in this conductor is 1 amperes and the number of turns uh, of uh, this conductor wound on this core that is equal to 200 the uh, this thickness of this uh, uh, this leg that is 15 centimeters and this thickness is also equal to 15 centimeters uh, this leg is uh, slightly thinner than this one uh, and this thickness is 10 centimeters the depth of this core that is also equal to 10 centimeters and we want to determine the flux flowing flux flowing in this magnetic circuit what we can do is uh, we can simply first draw the equivalent electrical circuit the source of MMF uh, can be represented by a voltage source and here uh, this polarity uh, can be determined by the right hand rule current is flowing in this conductor uh, in this direction so we just uh, grip this uh, uh, this core and the fingers curl in the direction of current and then thumb will indicate the direction of flux and then we can determine the direction polarity of this voltage source so for voltage source uh, if this is the positive end then current uh, leaves this voltage source from the positive end that is this is the direction of current and then uh, we have uh, a resistance uh, here reluctance and reluctance uh, to determine the overall reluctance what we can do is we can split the whole core in two parts the part uh, with the uh, from here the part from here to here uh, because this uh, has one cross sectional area and this length has a different cross sectional area so we can split the overall magnetic circuits in two parts one part from here to here which has a cross sectional area and the part from here to here which has a different cross sectional area so a voltage source with two reluctances R1 and R2 here this reluctance R1 is equal to L1 over mu A1 R1 is the reluctance of this part of the core so L1 what is L1 L1 is the total mean path length from here to here so what is this total length uh, L1 L1 we can see uh, what is uh, uh, this this length what is this length 
this is 30 centimeters so 30 plus this one and this distance is half of from here to here so half of 15 is 7.5 so 30 plus 7.5 and plus 7.5 so it is 45 centimeters uh, plus from here to here is 45 centimeters what is from here to here this length is 30 centimeters and here is uh, 7.5 so 37.5 and this length is 5 centimeters so uh, 42.5 and what is this length this is also 42.5 so L1 is equal to 45 plus uh, this uh, becomes uh, 85 80 plus 130 centimeters so 130 centimeters L1 and divided by 100 to convert it into meters. Numerical value of uh, mu that is equal to mu r into mu naught. Uh, this code utilized here is made up of uh, iron and the permeability relative permeability of this core is also provided to us that is equal to 2500. So mu which is equal to mu r into mu naught. So mu r is 2500 and mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. And uh, A1 is the cross section area. That is uh, this uh, cross section area. And uh, we can see that this cross section area is equal to this length multiplied by this depth so this is 15 centimeter and this is 10 centimeter so this a1 is 15 over 100 multiplied by 10 over 100 we divide it by 100 to convert centimeters into meters so the cross section area this cross section area is 15 divided by 100 multiplied by 10 divided by 100 so you can perform these uh, calculations r1 comes out to be equal to uh, so r1 comes out to be equal to 27600 ampere turns per vapor uh, so please also calculate the reluctance of this uh, part reluctance of uh, this part is uh, given by l2 mu over a2 so what is L2? L2 is this length which we can see is equal to this length plus this length is 30 so 30 plus 7.5 is 37.5 and then uh, 7.5 so 45 to convert it into meters we divide it by 100 and again mu is uh, mu r multiplied by mu naught mu r is 2500 uh, and mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 and what is A2? A2 is this cross section area this cross section area what is that? again it is equal to this length multiplied by this length this is 10 centimeters this depth is also 10 centimeters so 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 10 divided by 100 and hence uh, this uh, you can cal make uh, these uh, calculations this comes out to be equal to 14,300 ampere turns per vapor so once we know the values of these reluctances we can easily utilize uh, the relations uh, uh, to compute this flux and we know that flux is equal to MMF divided by equivalent reluctance. MMF in this case is equal to number of turns which is 200 and multiplied by current which is 1 ampere 
divided by equivalent reluctance. Equivalent reluctance is uh, since these two reluctances are connected in series, so equivalent reluctance is sum of uh, this reluctance and this reluctance. That is uh, twenty-seven thousand six hundred plus fourteen thousand. 300 that is equal to uh, you can perform these calculations so flux comes out to be equal to 0.0048 vapors so this is how we analyze magnetic circuits uh, you need to remember a few points uh, for this analysis uh, when we analyze uh, electrical circuits the computations are very accurate however for magnetic circuits these calculations are less accurate what are reasons for that uh, there are multiple reasons for uh, these inaccuracies in calculations for magnetic circuits the first and most important reason is the leakage flux uh, here in this calculations we have uh, assumed that all the flux is constrained to the core and there is no leakage flux but in practice there is also leakage flux the flux lines leak into the air into the air because this air also has some uh, reluctance and permeance uh, is there any leakage current in electrical circuits so what is your uh, opinion so yes in electrical circuits there is also leakage current however leakage current is very very small leakage current is very very small why because uh, the permeability of free space is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus uh, 7 whereas the uh, permittivity of free space that is uh, uh, of the order of 10 raised to the power minus 12 I do not remember the exact value but that is of the order of 10 raised to the power minus 12 much much smaller than the permeability therefore in magnetic circuits there is leakage flux we have ignored it therefore these calculations are less accurate another reason for inaccuracy in this mag uh, calculations in magnetic circuits is the calculations of mean path length and cross section areas these are not very accurate uh, typically the cross section area at these corners is not the same as the cross section area over here so there are inaccuracies in computation of uh, cross section areas that is not uniform throughout the uh, circuit at the corners it is different over here it is different however in our calculations we have ignored this effect there is another effect which is uh, called fringing effect which also results into inaccuracies in calculations in magnetic circuits what is fringing effect here if uh, we have um, some air gap over here in this magnetic circuit if we have uh, an air gap if there is an air gap in a magnetic circuit uh, let's let me sketch uh, uh, only the front view of this uh, circuit magnetic circuit so this is a uh, front view of this magnetic circuit and the flux lines follow some path like this one that is at the corners these uh, flux lines uh, they they tend to have this curved path therefore the cross section area over here is not the same as this cross section area so if we uh, in the calculation if we use this cross section area instead of this one so that will result into uh, inaccuracies in calculations this effect is called fringing effect that is magnetic lines of flux bulk out of this uh, uh, this core so that is effect is called fringing effect so let's uh, elaborate the analysis of magnetic circuits with the help of a few more examples.